Ooh, baby. <laughs> a long day is what I've had. The twins turned six a couple of days ago, so it's been like we're still recuperating from the celebrations. But um, along the theme of codependency, you guys, I purposefully left out one of the number one signs of healing from codependency. Can anybody guess what that is? I want to type that down before I even say it. Go ahead, type your guess. I'm going to give you like five seconds to type your guess. All right, the number one sign, you guys, of healing from codependency is being willing to take control of your own life. Yes, being willing to take control, period. But specifically, of course, with codependency of your own life. You know, being codependent is just such a passive energy, you guys. You are putting a lot of control into your external environments. Um, you're putting a lot of, you're giving a lot of control to your shadow side and to sabotage in your life, keeping yourself stuck. The minute you're willing to actually stand up for yourself and take control, you know, that looks like taking accountability. So it's like, I'm running a show. You know, I don't need this toxic person who's actually making it 10 times worse than if I was even making decisions on my own. So it's, it's the, it's when you are willing to take control. And that usually happens when enough is enough. You know, you get tired of these cycles, you get tired of getting less than, get tired of starting over, get tired of things um, seeming fruitless. And it's not fruitless per se, because sometimes people have to hit their head up against the wall many times, because they hard headed, you know? And then that's how they get fed up. They get tired of it eventually if they wise up. And it's like, you know what? I don't want to go through that anymore. And then that's when you are willing to take control. Because when you think about this in the most abstract, big picture way, codependency is healing addictions. And what do people who are healing addictions have to do? They damn sure got to take control. They got to find a way to take control of the situation and definitely remove themselves away from the situation, allow themselves to heal and go through the process of gaining more and more control. The further they get into the healing process, they're going to feel stronger in that control. But the number one thing is, is being willing to take that control. You have to be able to see how devastating it is when you pass that control on to other people. You pass the buck. And then it just, it puts you in this weak energy because it's like, well, now I could blame you for my problems because I listened to Mom, you. Mm -mm. She just had Peppa Pig on, but hold on a minute. It's still your fault because guess what? At the end of the day, even if you're listening to somebody else, you listen to somebody else. You allow them to come and be the master, you know? So, yes, you guys, being willing to actually take control. Being willing to take control. You got to see how, how can you live your most authentic life if somebody else is at the steering wheel. You're not even at the steering wheel, you know? Or if you are at the steering wheel, you have a backseat driver that's telling you all the turns to make and it's still not, there's a disconnect there. So being willing to take control is also understanding that you have to reconnect to yourself and finding your voice, the proper voice, the healthy voice, not the addictive, toxic voice that just kills, cares about your flesh and um, you know, your shadow side. So yeah. That's it in a nutshell, you guys. I'm down here cooking my dinner, so I do have to go. But, you know, I definitely wanted to just share that number one. You know, I purposely left it off. But, yeah, you got to be willing to take control. You got to do it. Because then it's really not... I smell chicken. like chicken. Then it's not your life lived, you know. You got to live your life, baby. Your life. Right, Nehemiah? You got to live your life, baby? Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right.
All right, you guys. Stay well. Take care next time.